If you're someone who says, I'll start tomorrow, first of all, you're not alone. I like saying that. We all like saying that. It's comforting. But at the same time, every time you say that, you are reinforcing the pattern of delay. So the best way to address this is by shifting your attention and focus to what you are able and what you're willing to do right now in order to move towards your goals. And the best way to find out what that is is through asking yourself questions. Tim Ferriss says in his new book, something along the lines of the quality of your life depends on the quality of the questions that you're asking. And obviously it matters what you do with the answers to those questions, but the habit of asking yourself questions and checking in with yourself throughout the day is a key to prevent drifting away from your goals. And I go way more into detail in my most recent podcast, which uh, the link's in my bio, but some of the questions that I like the most are focused around not settling for all or nothing. So the first one that I really recommend if you don't feel like doing something today or tomorrow or whatever is how can I find a middle ground? So maybe you missed your workout this morning, like you overslept or something. I don't know. That's just one example. But instead of saying, well, I blew it. Today's over. I might as well just eat cookies. Why don't you say, well, maybe I'll go for a short walk after work or body weight movements like squats and push-ups or something for 10 minutes. The point here is not what you end up doing. The point is just practicing making yourself stick with your commitments, even if it's small or a middle ground, because that's gonna build momentum, it's gonna make you feel better, and it's going to get you out of this operating system of thinking that you can just put things off and that you'll get to it one day. Okay, second question you can ask yourself when you really don't feel like doing something is, what would this look like if it were easy? And in your answer, you might write down something like how to make it more fun, how to make it more of an organized system, how to get a buddy to join. Okay, the last question that I wanna share with you is what am I saying no to if I say yes to putting this task off until tomorrow? And the point here is to make you realize that every choice has consequence, consequences. And this question isn't supposed to make you feel bad or it shouldn't be used to beat yourself up, but it's just to bring your attention to what are your priorities and what are you saying yes to short term that's really putting you farther away from what you want long term. Okay, so I hope these questions help. The questions in the podcast episode that I reference are different than these ones mentioned in the story. So go to the link in bio and have an awesome weekend.